I what's poppin' Docker subscribers today? Today we got a little bit of OST between the Vorgadal and updated Canto. See on the uh, Vorgadal side. Yeah, looks like we got some uh, Zardex Magirna offense. Maybe Magirna Zardex. Mm, probably Yachi or Sash Chomp. Rocky Orlando, Scarfero, and some sort of thingy. And uh, on Kanto's side, we got some uh, Ninetales offense. Well, the Ninetales stand set. Garchomp is probably s not Scarf because he has. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Oh, takes a huge hit from Fire Blast. Well, I did build Borgadow's team after all, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna smell out that uh that he's gonna go to the um uh, the physically defensive Lando T as Kanto gets over rocks. Fairly fairly basic play. So now while we wait for uh you know the in-game plays, I hear Doc Rick likes to tell stories to his viewers, and I am a huge proprietor of storytelling. So, ah, I got the prediction right. So the story I'm going to tell for you today, this is a uh, once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a little brass tower. And uh, the princess was like, help, help, come save me. And I was like, how'd you get stuck? And then the princess was like, an evil queen put me in a tower and I can't get out. And uh, you know, it's kind of a metaphor for the box that uh, Vorgadal's in right now. First he gets the rocks up as a Zard Y team. Now his Magir and his Frozen solid. So the queen kind of just put Vorgadal in a box. The white queen, that is. Hmm. Appears that the timer's not run yet. Ooh, and he wakes up first turn and he's going to not take the flash cannon. That's a, that's a crispy, that's a crispy. A clean wake up, that's a very crispy play. Kanto comes in with the Marowak. Uh, looking at his team, this is certainly Lightning Rod. Just because of that huge Coco weakness. But uh, something, something's not taking a Shadow Bone. If I had to make my my uh, my derm predictions, I would say it was Lando. But Garchomp, uh, actually Garchomp's a little better. Lando T is so nice for checking the Garchomp. And getting up rocks if need be. So, anyways, here's another story I got for you. Uh, once upon a time, there was a man with large eyebrows, and he said, "Hmm, I gotta compensate for my eyebrows with the Pokemon tryhardedness." That man was Finchinator, and. You know, all the all the good players are like, "Hey, Finchinator, you're a you're a little kid guy." He's like, "Eh, why I oughta?" So Finchinator, he's like, "You know what? It's my time to shine." So he founded the Bigs. He's like, "We're gonna win," and here they are, second place. That was a good story, straight out of Doc Rick's uh, storybook. And here comes the Landorus Therian, switching the Marowak, take a clean half from a Shadow Bone, I would have gone Garchamp, but each his own. So, see Kanto, Kanto could, uh, he could predict the U-turn, he could predict the EQ. EQ might not kill from Rocky Helmet, Lando T, um, just because of the Veil. Definitely, uh, definitely a Calker. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, you know what? I'll Calc. I'll Calc. Blinders T versus. Let's see earthquake with the veil. That does not kill if he is Rocky Helm. So, Kanto could stay in and get a uh, get a clean kill, but then he loses his Magirna check. 
if you want to make a, a real homey play, I stay in, click Wisp on the Garchomp U-turn. Let's see it, let's see it. Does he click U-turn? He does not. Easy production for an uh, updated kiddo. However, he does just go out to the spinning Discanto T-Bolt. That'll be real epic. Ah, he's Z Shadow Ball. He gets the crit drop, which means his next one could kill. If he gets a high roll. Z Shadow Ball, the set that I invented today, only inferior to Poison Jam Metacham. And, you know, you know, if Borgadal loses his Finny, he could lose his Defogger. Could be, could be Defog, could be Spin Pharaoh, could be Stallbreaker Finny, you know, you never know. You never know. Hmm, but what appears if uh, the players are in a sticky situation because of that Spadef drop crit. According to uh, Spectator, I pioneered Scarf Asphalt Lottie. They laughed at my sets. I laughed at their Scarf Lele. Vorgadel, if he stays in, he's gonna need to uh, dodge the high roll from the Shadow Ball if he wants to defog the Veil and the Rocks away for his Zard. And Kanto, well, let's, let's calc this roll. Let's calc it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So nobody runs this. Probably, probably something like this. Latios. A shadow ball. So the crit. Okay. Ooh, okay, he's running. Ah, he's running offensive Finny. It's 45. Ooh, that looks like. Mm. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, he sold you. That's gotta be it. No, not Soldu Finny. Soldu Shadow Ball. No oh, way, that does. Shit. Heh. Hmm. A little bit of trickery going on here. You know? Okay, wait, what if it's choice specs, but the Finny's for death? That's gotta be it, right? Then like a like a 188 com or something on the crit. No, no. I, nah, I don't know. Something like uh, something like 80. Yeah, that's the set. That's the set right there. So it doesn't look like this next S ball will be the killer. Unless you know, very high roll. Borgadel's taking his time. He's running every calc. He's 10 plays ahead of Kanto. His Kanto is not going to get the kill. Ooh, Borgadel does not go for the defog, which means he is likely Spin Pharaoh. However, if he was defog and he went for it, that's a that's a crispy play. That's a crispy. His Kanto is just going to take him out with his third Shadow Ball. So, uh, Kanto or Vor can go into his Pharamosa if it's Scarf and make his play of U-turn or wraps when he goes out to the Magirna. You know, quick and easy. Quick and easy. Now, once upon a time, there's a there's a Muslim kid named Extra Dollar Shine. Extra Dollar Shine's like, hmm, you know what would be a good Magirna set? Z Shadow Ball. And, uh, you know, I'm a big proprietor of Z Shadow Ball Magirna. Let's see this game, you know. He's gonna probably go hard into whack. Two Fleur Cannons will not kill with the Veil. You know, Vorgadal, he's on the, he's on the, playing an uphill battle. He's gonna have to make some plays, you know, double Garchomp. Get an EQ off, he's gonna be able to take it as Kanto gets another crit and drops his Lottie. Good. And, you know, over prediction from Kana, under prediction from Boar, kinda works out either way. So Kanto, or Roar has no use for this Magirna now. Kanto can just smash him with a crispy Meteor Mash. Kanto says, Bori, sad face. He knows he got the prediction wrong. And Borgadal didn't predict, he just got lucky, lucky and bad. 
So, uh, Kinto, he's gonna hit Mash. What, what can Vor do? Vor can't. Ooh! Oh, okay. He's gonna hit Agility. And he's not gonna Mega, so the Intimidato will do nothing, Mr. Roboto. Domo Arigato. If Vor get out is Yachi on his Garchomp, then that could help. But since he didn't go out to it, I'm gonna assume it's not. As he does reveal the Ice Punch. This game's looking like a snack wrap, if you know what I'm saying. Don't think nothing's taken an Ice Punch besides the gear now, but that don't matter. Now, if he was running Yachi, which it's still possible. EQ... I don't think EQ kills, though. Garchomp. Garchomp versus a Meta. Meta Goose. And roll. Kind of tough, but it don't matter. The game is over. So thank you, uh, Doc Rick fans, for subscribing. You know, my name is Zomog. Check me out in the description. I make Minecraft videos. I'll record game two and game three. If there is a, even a game three. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I wasn't Scarf. I'm not a big fan of Boar's team. It appears if his Scarfer is Garchomp and his Finny isn't Defog. Which is a little bit of a mistake. Game's over, Borg it out for it's GG. What's, 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 what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Zamrock. On the, uh, on my flip-flop we got a, what's your name guy? What's your name guy? My name is Conspire. Oh. Also known as BC Wishkiller on Smoke On. BC Wishkiller. Rep in China. Anyways, little team analysis. Vorgadal has standard Gengar offense. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say. This I'd say probably Draco lead. Um, maybe Sash. Yeah, this uh, it's gonna be Yachi or Sash Garchomp. Probably Scarf Gengar, Magnet Coco, Life Orb Greninja. No, no, no. Ash Greninja. Do you think he'll be the U-turn set? Mm, I think he will, but he won't. No, okay. It's risky. This can't be He's uh, risking the scarf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is. So, yeah. He's definitely gonna be Yachi. Ooh! No. Hot Yum. dog! Hot dog! That's probably Adamant Lando. Let's, let's put that in the calc right now. Let's put it in. Landera Stadion. Yeah, that's Adamant Lando on a crit. High roll. Does that mean it's probably rock polish, maybe? No? Um, I'd say unlikely. I'd say it's some leftovers, and I wouldn't have said that. I would have said, like, Z Earthquake. He's Poison Jam. Yeah, he could be Poison Jam. Look at L. He has a Cobrain Free List. If he has a Ash Greninja, then uh, he goes to this. I guess this is good. It's um, good. the last one was a Quiridon set, but, uh, yeah. this looks like it could be Scarf, yeah. I'm thinking it's Scarf Gengar, yeah, he gets a special attack boost, because he doesn't have a better Z-move user unless it's Gengar. Yeah, he's probably Quiver. Quiver, uh, fighting, fighting him. Yeah. I don't know, are people still using Scarf Faramo so much? I really don't know. It's, like, it's inferior, but Rapid Spin is, like, the goat. And there are no other spinners in the tier, so it's still useful. Um, there are really no safe switch-ins for this, really. The Minikyu... Oh yeah, I didn't think the Minikyu... Mm. Yeah, he should probably just break the disguise. Let's see, does he stay? Oh, he, was he was may go always oh, this evening. That's a body! That's an, that's an overpowerment! Let's see, uh... If he's running Ash Greninja, Dark Bull should kill Minikyu? Probably. Let's, let's calculate. Uh, it may be a, it's maybe protein HP fire um, to lure the Ferrothorn. That would be possible. Let's see, Gunk Shot. 
can kill. Especially oh, since he's got uh, the Scarf Gengar. Okay, if he's gunk shot with attack, he should kill. If he's gunk shot with no attack, kill, yeah. if he's gunk shot with no attack, it's a thirty percent. Although he may just miss. Uh, there's no point in going to Nets Cross because Shadow Sneak damage is a bit annoying. Yeah. And if he's Ash Greninja, let's see. Hydro Pump just flat out kills if he's Ash Greninja. Uh, this is uh, way faster than the last game, but the last yeah. game was trash anyway. Dual Hyper Offense. Yeah, the last game, yeah, you know, the last game, it could have been a little better. Anyways, here on uh, Doc channel we like to do storytelling at the slow turns you know anyone got a good story <laughs> anyways I got one once upon a time there was a youtuber called Dockerick he's he's small he's aspiring you know, he started off with weightlifting videos and one day he's like I need fame <laughs> so he goes into the SPL thread and he's like hey guys I'm gonna start recording your, your games and uh, steal your content for my own uh, my own views and subs <laughs> like that, the okay, man. Was born. That was a good story, man. Real good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just made it up. Anyone got any other good stories? Council stories? OU stories? Yeah, this one time I went to the toilet and there was blood. Num <laughs> 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 chim. We like to keep this channel PG, you uh, mongoloid. I'm gonna have to <laughs> ask you to keep it PG next time you want to tell a story. Gorgadel, uh, he's gonna go out to the meta metagross. He's gonna he should hammer arm. Mm. He hammer if he's arm? real, he hammer arm. He should be hammer arm. Actually, no, he's definitely not hammer arm. He's gonna hit EQ right here. Hammer arm? Hammer arm? Nah. Yeah, the safe place. Hammer arm? Oh, he's helmet. Oh, the yellow sets. Looking so spicy for Vorgadel. He's gonna go out to the Greninja on the rocks. I think Kanto should have leech seated right there, but you know, to each his own. Helmet Pharaoh. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, Ash Greninja would kind of wreck right now, but it is not. Cold it. He's gonna go for his fire, do a little bit of damage. If he's water shuriken, he can uh, avoid the sneak damage. Uh, I think he's Gunk Spikes, yeah. Gunk Spikes HP fine, probably maybe Ice Beam. Nah, he's yeah. Poison Jam. He could be Poison Jam and Gunk Shot, that is the set right there. Okay. Um, I built it. I built this team. War's team uh, kind of loses to Coco. That's kind of bad, man. Yeah, not looking so hot for the updated kiddo over here. Fuck is he helmet? <laughs> like, there's like a point on the ladder when I'm playing ladder games that uh, I, I stop seeing that uh, Rocky Helmet's perform. It's normally like 1300. Well, this game, according to Akeshi, is a 1200 ELO game, so. Yeah, but that guy's a fucking faggot, man. Don't listen to him. Got a point. Oh, <gasps> gonna stay in on the T-Bolts. Incredible place. I kinda got a feeling this is Scarf Coco for some reason. It wouldn't be a good, good set, but it just feels like it is. I think it is. So this scarf. team's kinda slow without it, so yeah. Yeah, I think it's Scarf and Vor is not. And that's pretty much game. Yeah, he loses. Yeah. He can't come back from this. With so what do you get for bringing like the most generic teams possible? Because you just know the set straight away. I know Kanto knows Boar's team because he used it in some friendlies before. <laughs> you know, he should have used Poison Jam Meta Cham. <laughs> yeah. With Focus Punch. Oh yeah. But the Meta Cham has in headbutts. Hey, we don't make fun of Doc Rick. This is Doc Rick's channel, my guy. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Fuck, I'm sorry. My bad. What's uh, the deal? <laughs> With the, the, the Pokemon Showdown! Does he met the gym? Poison Jam? Oh, he used Poison Jam! <laughs> hey, Genesis, you wanna, my dreams. <laughs> you wanna introduce If Kento wasn't using a. 
streaming. Rocking Hammer yeah. Terraform, there'd probably be a few less martyrs, you know? You know I mean? You're not gonna win because he never makes fucking plays. He just ice punched a Ferrothorn. Why? Why did he do that? Uh, or. He got the freeze. He knew that would happen. He got a crispy. However, Scarf Coco's gonna clean what if it has poison jam? <laughs> poison jam! Wow, you guys are bad. Uh, what if. Doesn't Scarf Gengar just win? Nice. Conspire Scarf from Coco. Sumata. Scarf Coco gets the clean kill with T-Bolt. Yo, I think Pheromos is really broken, man. Why is it even in this tier? Nah. Yo, why is this thing in the fucking tier? Yeah, this guy's broken. so fucking broken with the fucking T-Bolt and Electric Rain. Whoa, whoa. What's your fucking language? Yeah, I'm from a bad shaka, bruh. I'm a faggot, I'm a faggot. I'm a faggot, I'm a faggot, I'm a faggot. We are finished! <laughs> What are they thinking about? What is there to fucking think about? <laughs> uh, Thor! Let me, uh, should I press, uh, Sludge Wave or, uh, Shadow Ball? Thor! Sometimes uh. people just take a long time between turns to make it look like they're making plays, but, you know, they're not really. There's, like, one option, but they're just not good. It could be mean like Parish Song Gengar. I think we need to take that into consideration. It could be Poison Jam, so it breaks through the... Gengar does learn Poison course. Jam. He's gonna poison jam here. Okay, seriously, why is it taking this long to figure out the fucking scarf move? Coco? I'm 100% sure. The forest. Uh, no. forest. It's gonna be Scarf Gengar 2. Yeah, and Scarf Coco wins. He wins, he wins. He just wins. Why didn't he go to his own Coco first? Because he's captain a team, Dennis. Um, um, can you Dazzling Gleam here? I just want to test out the damage, please. Dude, are you fucking retarded? Dude, don't taunt! Anything but taunt, I'm testing a mechanic. The taunt? Okay. What game is I that? <laughs> uh, dude, what game is I that? <laughs> Oh fuck, Miles Tails left, we had enough of their bullshit. Oh no, not him. Anybody but him. Oh fuck, retarded pigeon left, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> so, uh, what have we taken away from this game? Oh shit! Coco, yeah, oh shit! Oh, he oh, got oh, that game. Wait, what game is this? This is game two. I don't know. Game two? Mm hmm. War one, or War lost last game two. God, Kent was so good at Pokemon. <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking physical. <laughs> oh, this is Z Mirror Move Coco, I bet. Sorry for being lucky. Uh, sorry I was lucky and bad. Sorry. I'm so sorry, lol. <laughs> he fucking. He fucking. He doesn't want to. That was a snack wrap. Thanks for watching, Doc Rick subscribers. Like and smash that video button. Oh,